Greetings and welcome once again to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel and today I'm going to be going over a topic that seems to be bothering a lot of people and they simply can't understand uh, the concepts that are described in this topic. So what I'm going to explain to you now is that the square root of two is not a number, okay? Never, there is no number square root two. There's no number pi. There's no number e. There's no number phi. Okay, so let's just focus on square root two and see why it's true that there is no such number. Okay, so I got a comment about 47 minutes ago uh, after I published this video, I think a couple of days ago, on the distinction between constants and numbers. And it's a common comment that I get because people have been taught the wrong way. It says, I guess the equation x squared minus 2 has no solution then. So where are these people coming from? Well, let's see. So what they've been taught is the following. Their teacher has told them that in any right angle triangle like that, well, looks like a right angle triangle, that if you try to calculate this diagonal, in which case you're not even really calculating the diagonal, you're calculating the square on both sides. So if this happens to be, let's say, a square of 1 and a square of 1, actually it doesn't really matter whether it's 1 or 10 in both squares or 50. It doesn't matter. Why doesn't it matter? Because in any right angle triangle, we realize this concept when we try and we try to measure this line using either of the sides as the unit, okay? So it doesn't matter if this is 2 or 1,200. The length of these sides doesn't matter because if you try to measure this line with either side, you're going to start realizing something like this, 1.4, 1.41, 1.414, 1 etc. Okay, but... What you have to remember is that number comes from ratio, okay, from the measure of a ratio. So, for example, if you say, if you have a line segment which is approximately that long, and I've put spaces in there for a reason, like that, okay, a line segment like that and like this, then the measure of this ratio is simply equal to 3, because 3 over 1, in fact, but which is 3? Um, because what we do when we measure ratio is we count the, we don't count it, but we measure using this as a measuring tool to see if it fits into both parts exactly. So here you're not even counting. You're just checking to see if this ratio has something called quotientness. Okay. Now, quotientness comes from a Greek word, okay, which is... Uh, that, which is that, okay, pilikotita, and there is no modern word for that because modern Greeks don't understand this. Um, took me after thousands of years to explain that. That's found in definition three of book five. So that's the way you get ratio. Now, if you say something like x squared is equal to two, then you need a number here on the side, which is going to give you two, when multiplied by itself, by the way. A number when multiplied by itself. There is no such number, okay? It doesn't exist. You can't tell me it's 1.414 dot, 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 like that. That's garbage, okay? And you can't even tell me it's this, because when you say square root 2 to the power of 2, all you're doing is you're just multiplying the exponents okay you're not touching you're not touching this value okay that's all you do you multiply the you could say for example cat to the half and that's equal to cat and cat is not even a number okay now you may ask well how do you multiply these well this is where you need to study the links that i tell you okay so in this article here, 
I explained to you. I explained to you how you got arithmetic. All your your uh, knowledge about arithmetic comes from geometry. Okay, and I'll show you how these things work. And so once you understand this, you'll know exactly why you're able to do the things you are able to do. And this is an excellent article, by the way. I recommend it for every professor of calculus and mathematics and every mathematics teacher because they simply do not understand how arithmetic works and where it came from. They also do not understand that you cannot define the arithmetic op operations as you please. Okay, so that's why this article is important. Then another one that's very important is realizing what is a number. And I tell you in one page description exactly how you got number, right? And so so you can you can, all these articles are free, and I've gone even a step further than that. I'm giving you free access, free access to the most important book ever written on numbers and arithmetic. It's got a watermark. If you want to support me, you can buy the one without a watermark here for $9.99. And by the way, to those who have bought it, um, You've given me 31 euros and 36 cents, which is fantastic. Thank you very much. I will definitely put that money to much needed use. Appreciate that. So if you can support me by buying the one without a watermark here, please do. Otherwise, if you don't have the money, download it from Academia. Okay. And the way you can do that is you go to Academia, where it says learning the right way. And... You log in and you're able to access the entire book with only one little difference. It has a watermark on it. Okay. So now coming back to this question, he says, I guess the equation has no solution then. Well, it doesn't have a solution that is a number. It does have a solution, which is a magnitude. Okay. So what is that solution? Well, let's see what that solution is. I'll show you. Look. So you want to know what the solution is in terms of magnitudes, don't you? So if you have this, this line, take this line here, the diagonal, write it down like that, and write down the side like that, okay? Now, if you multiply this ratio by itself, exactly like that, you will get 2. Okay, you will get 2 or... Uh, a multiple of, if these, if these, you'll get the side, forget about that, you'll get the side. So if you multiply, I'm sorry, I'm making a big mess of this, just hang on a second. If you multiply, if you multiply this side by itself, this side, this side by itself, uh, then you'll get two of these. Okay, then you'll get that, you'll get this ratio. That's two, the measure of this is two, okay. You're, you're imagining that the measure of this is square root two, okay. If you multiply this by itself, you'll get two. How to, do, how to multiply ratios? I'll show you how to do that, don't worry. All you do is you come to Gabriel Arithmetic. And here, I don't only show you how to do it geometrically. I show you how to do it using an ingenious method I discovered, which, by the way, is not published or written or realized anywhere before me. Okay, I was the very first. And what I'll do is I'll also provide a little applet for you to play around with, which shows you the entire four basic operations in terms of this brilliant method. Well, why is it brilliant? Well... Think to yourself, it's brilliant because I'm a genius and I'm half Greek. <laughs> okay, so I'll put all the details in the detail section. And if you have questions, feel free to ask questions, but one at a time, please. And if you, if you post a stupid comment and, and, and I feel it needs to be reported, it will. Otherwise, I'll just delete it and just ignore you. So... Try not to be a troll or what is commonly known as 
uh, you know, a spammer. You get on the channel and you just type in a whole lot of crap. Okay. So I'm trying to educate you. If you're a professor of mathematics or calculus, you need to be paying attention because you don't understand these things. Okay, no, Dedekind cuts and Cauchy equivalent sequences are not valid constructions of real numbers. And yes, I have had your training, which is a load of bullshit. So I know about set theory. I know about real analysis. I know about all these things. I'm 63 years old, okay? I've been through these courses. I'm speaking to you honestly. I'm speaking to you logically and trying to educate in you and enlighten you, okay? I'm trying to bring you out of the darkness that you're in because set theory, first of all, is not mathematics. Neither is topology. It's absolute garbage. And yes, I know a lot of you got your PhDs on that crap. You shouldn't have gotten a PhD and you're certainly not... Uh, worthy of being called a mathematician. In fact, I think a mathematician's asshole is, has more worth than you. Okay, well, I didn't really mean it that badly, but yes, I did. Okay, anyway, if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, uh, please subscribe to my channel, click like, and follow me on Academia. You have to log into Academia in order to read the articles. Otherwise, you'll get an error to the effect that it's not found, 404, or you're in the wrong aisle. Do I know better than you? You bet your cotton-picking boots I do. Yes, I really do. I'm John Gabriel. This is a new calculus channel. Till next time, goodbye.